Hey guys, welcome to ASCII.NET MVC5 part 6. I'm Ripon the third. Today I'm gonna discuss about entity framework code first. So let's get started. First of all, I wanna create a new project and I wanna give this project name entity framework. code first then click OK as you can see MBC is selected by default then click OK alright so you can see our project is created first I want to create a model as you can see this is our code first so first of all we want to create um, our model or code so let's say block all right so block oops property integer block id and second property is string it is name that means block name then we should have list of post so post and let's say posts now we have to create our post model so post id post name or we can say title then let's say post date and each post should have a block ID and enter block in this case we can use virtual property and here we can use also virtual so this means block post which is one to many relationship that means each block can have list of posts you can see so and each post should have at least one block ID or one block so this is our block and post model now what we have to do is we have to create our context so let's say we can create a folder which is context take a class give the class name block context and block context is inherited the db context so what we have to do is we have to right click resolve using system dot data dot entity that means this is the base class of entity framework db context is the base class of entity framework so what we have to do is we have to use db set block 
get and set so public db set post posts you can use blocks so what we need to do is we need to resolve right click resolve we have to add the model name space what does it mean this means it means basically that we can use the blog and post uh, I mean we can add our query to the DB set I mean uh, in the database through this DB set so so this is our blog context what we need to do else is we have to we have to configure our connection string so go to the web config as you can see there is a default connection string so what we need to do is we have to change this connection string with block context so our connection string should be block context and I want to you can use your local database I'm gonna use my local database my local server name is Ripon and I'm going to use database so initial catalog let's say uh, I want to give the catalog name EF code first test all right if it is in the in a LAN or in other server instead of local host you have to use user ID let's say SA and password so this is our connection string all right now what we have to do is we have to build the solution I'm building the project yep now we have to we have to take a controller so let's say our controller is empty or you can take this one read write actions let's say block controller in the block controller first of all I need to write the context our context is block context let's say db equal new block context right click onto block context resolve you can see we have to add namespace all right so in the first I mean we can show the block name so let's say blocks to list I'm going to listing all the blocks so what we need to do is we need to create our views maybe yes right click add view and you can mention or you can select the list in this case our model is block and context is a block context click ok I mean add then uh, Visual Studio will create the view with arrays of syntax because we are using Visual Studio 2013 and Rezo syntax now we can see the database still we, do, we don't have the database our database name is as you can see that initial catalog is EF code first test so still it is not created whenever you will run 
the project and you will call this controller then it will create your database so first of all I want to go to the my controller which is block still you can see database is not created yep now it is created because I called block so when I call I called block um, controller then it is created your database and you can see these are tables post post ID is a primary key and as you can see blog ID is a primary key so and you can see this is our blog controller that means you have seen that how to create code first and then you can create your database from that code using entity framework now I want to show you one thing that is in the database so go to the database diagram right click new database diagram add these two tables posts and blocks now you can see that there is a relationship which is one to many as you can see this is one and this is many that means one block can have one to many posts Oops. so using entity framework we can even manage the relationships which is in this case one to many relationships alright so if you don't know how to create how to edit and delete action uh, I have already uploaded some tutorials um, on this so you can watch from that and yep that's it so today's class was entity framework code first so this is done thank you very much for watching this tutorial uh, if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel if you have any difficulty or any comment or any review you can put in the comment box um, if you have any question I will be try to answer you as soon as possible so see you soon in the next tutorial till then bye